Hey guys and girls, thumbs up from me as usual. Thank God for the grace on every kind of day, whether it's sunny or rainy like today. But welcome to my channel, the Real Love Festival Survival Channel. And in today's video, it's all about these little boxes that I recently bought. So stick around and I'll show you what I've been up to. See you in a sec guys. back guys and girls so moving on in the video um, these boxes these containers are fantastic you can stack them up one on top of each other and they kind of like lock in place it's because of the grooves underneath and on the top you can see the grooves there they kind of lock in place so they don't move around which is a really good thing about them so yeah on the top you've got your labels I haven't written on the labels yet um, basically you know I would use these for maybe traveling going on holiday or you can use them how you like EDC your bug out bags and I picked these boxes up actually few weeks back and uh, 50 pence each which was a fantastic deal if you want to scroll down in my videos and check out the bargain videos wow all that for four pound fifty all that for four pound ten and there's one there for all that for three pounds and ten pence something like that and uh, I think there was another one for seven pounds around about seven pounds and uh, so yeah found a nice little store in Camden so moving on so here we have it spread out on the table and I'll probably start off with the one in the middle so this one right here really good thing about these boxes uh, containers they have like a foam inside and that will protect all your gear when you're traveling you know even if you're going on holiday or if you could put it in a car kit as well if, you, if you're traveling and going on holiday or your bug out bag there'll be your gear will be well protected inside and this one here just put some ideas together and because uh, you know my kits are always changing and I'm just sharing some ideas as to what you might want to put in your bags in your boxes in your containers and what have you so basically in here I've got things like a little Stanley multi-tool put it on your key ring right there I've got a the S1R baton right there uh, this is the 900 lumen turbo model and I've basically stuck a carabiner on there as well I picked this up in the bargain videos I think it was about 50 pence bargain so yeah the S1R baton which was gifted to me by Olight I've done a small review on that if you want to go down in my video section and check out the review on that um, moving on got the lip the knife here this is the grizzly pocket buddy non-locking under three inches UK legal knife stick that in this kit as well little ferro rod as well to go with it because these knives have got fantastic spine on them and you can get a great spark from your ferro rods um, got a couple of USB flash drives in here as well handy put your photographs on any videos any documents copies and in my hand I've got one of these put some meds in there some money in there if you wanted oh, a fantastic little torch right here this is the i3e EOS 110 lumen this one the black one is about 90 lumen this one's about 110 lumen got one of them in here got the charger for the the baton o light and just in the bottom here I've got the, the the carry case for the o light so yeah just giving you some ideas what you want to might want to put in your boxes and this is basically what I've put in this box right here uh, the first one and uh, just squeeze everything back in there quickly while we're on camera 
Okay, just giving you some ideas. You might want to have some different stuff in there. I'll come on to a next box now. Let's see what's in this one here. I think I'll leave that box for last. I don't know what's in that one. So yeah, got labels on the top. Much easier to know what's in the boxes. Again, you're on your travels. Um, got a couple of watches in here. Got a watch here for round town, city. Got another watch here for my hiking. Little Sunto compass on there. And um, don't keep your compasses next to metal objects. This is only there because of the video. Just wanted to give you some ideas. So this generally, I'll take this hiking with me, this watch. This is the Citizen Eco. And um, I stuck that in there as well. Just giving you some ideas as to what to put in your boxes. If you see something similar, some rings I've got in here. A few little rings. Okay. Uh, spare car keys, spare house keys. And last but not least, have a little true utility lighter. Fantastic bit of kit. Uh, you can stand them up. Really good thing about that. Use it as a light, as a candle light. And it does have a, a key ring attachment on there as well. Right. So now, coming up to this last container right here. Last container right here. So what I've done with this one, I'm um, just giving you some ideas as to what to put in your boxes, in your containers. What I've done with this one right here, I've put a survival kit together in this one. Just some various different bits of kit right here. And I suppose I could have this as a survival kit. What I'll do is I'll move everything out of the way and uh, go through this kit. Starting at the top, just got one of these Princeton Tech just in case torches. It's just got a normal light and a flashing light right there. Fantastic bit of kit. And the bag here to, on the right hand side. I've just got a whistle in here, survival saw, a couple of blades in there as well pair of tweezers, uh, that's all that's in that bag right there and um, in this bag got some stormproof matches, a lighter, some cotton wool buds a little folding knife right here, a little, little tub of, of chapstick with some Gorilla Tape wrapped around it got a pencil, another ferro rod and some of these little mini, mini glow sticks right here I've also got a fishing kit in here, some hooks, some lines and sinkers, some writing paper and I do believe there's a little Fresnel lens in there as well. What I'll do is I'll just open this up quickly and show you the contents. So yeah, the only other thing I didn't show you in this kit was a little candle and some cordage right there. So there's the, there's the, the stuff laid out, what I keep in this little bag right here, little baggie and uh, fishing kit, pen and pe uh, pencil and paper, stormproof matches, folding knife, cotton buds, little light torch, little mini glow sticks, chapstick of course, and your little Fresnel lens. So that was the contents of this bag right here, little Ziploc bag. And the reason why I keep them in Ziploc bags is it keeps keeps your stuff somewhat waterproof, water resistant hopefully it doesn't get full of water I've uh, got another little bag in here as well what I'll do is I'll come to that if you saw my scavenging video I found this little container in the street and basically what I've done here I've put a load of Vaseline in here and uh, so I can use that for putting on the cotton wool and to assist me with fire starting and uh, so basically got some tiny tiny little bits of cotton wool in there as well so moving on to the third bag in this third bag what I'll do is I won't take the stuff out I've got a little compass I've got some of these little towelettes just put some water on them and they expand out got a little coffee in there okay in case I want a little bit of energy a little boost caffeine boost one sachet of sugar some salt I've got about four Oasis water purification tablets in there and on the other side I've got a couple of paracetamols I've got sterile saline wipes a couple of band-aids, a couple of plasters 
and inside I've got a small water carrying bag there you can see the top right there of that bag of the water carrying bag and that's about 250 ml water bag and basically I picked up these little bags recently for carrying water or drinks when you're out and about you scroll down in my video section and look for the foldable reusable uh, drinks containers bags bottles whatever you want to call them so I've put the small one in here as well in this survival kit now, let me see I think there's a couple of uh, diarrhea tablets in there as well somewhere inside but I don't want to take the contents out of this one make the video too long so there we have it uh, just a short and sweet one of uh, little ideas I've got with these kits more kit videos coming soon so as you can see I basically picked up these little containers for 50 pence each bargain always remember to check out the charity shops and the, the market stalls and little bargains that you might find this was a fantastic deal really quite tough cases and that's why I thought it'd be great for things like your watches and important stuff to put in of course you know um, when you're on holiday traveling trumping on aeroplanes and stuff like that you want to keep your stuff safe and protected your torches you don't want them to get banged around and other little bits and bobs as well so there we have it guys and girls what I'll do while we're on camera is I'll show you how easy it is to pack this this kit away uh, the little survival kit that I put together hopefully while I'm on camera I don't want to jinx myself let me see here we have it so basically this is the survival kit one right here this is the everyday kind of carry and there's my watches right there as well so let me just close them all so you can see they all close up nicely last but not least you know whenever you go on holiday remember to take a survival kit with you you never know just in case and there we go on camera this one closed up for me nicely so there we have it and they stack on top of each other really nicely there as well which is the really great thing about these containers which I really like so what I'll do actually what I'll do is I'll open them up and finish up on them uh, open thanks for watching the video guys and girls if you want to leave any comments below if you've got any ideas as to what you would use these containers for just leave your comment below and let me know what you would put in these containers you've seen what I've got in these containers and you know me I like to put survival kits in all kinds of containers talking of which the next video is going to be about this containers right here and if you watch this space you'll see what I've done with these containers right here thanks again for watching the video like share subscribe if you want to leave any comments please do so in the meantime take care of yourselves thanks for watching the video god bless you all have a fantastic evening and i look forward to seeing you all in the next video thumbs up guys take good care of yourselves see ya okay oh, keep knocking the tripod whoops